Northfield, Minnesota. We are your hosts, Zio Screen and Harry Edstrom. And this week we have Ointment Appointment in the studio, uh, an up and coming campus band here at St. Olaf College. We're glad to have, uh, have you on the show. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Do you want to start us off with a couple of songs, perhaps? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That, would be, that sounds great. All right, take it away. <laughs> Thank you. 
great guys. Yeah. You don't hear a lot of those two-part harmonies around this campus. <laughs> it's nice that there's a group that kind of shares the lead vocal role for once. Yeah. So uh, you guys are all from different parts of the country, is that correct? I, I take it that's a few of you are from uh, Chi-Town, but the rest come from other places. What places are those? I'm from Boston. All right. Yeah. And uh, I'm from Minneapolis. Very oh, yeah. And then nice and close to home. Devin and I are from Chicago. <laughs> yeah, so am I understanding it correctly that you two have played in a band together before? Oh, no. Is that? OK, then what's this other group that you have that's based out of Chicago? Oh, that's um, that's my band, Corn on My Dinner Plate. Corn on Your Dinner Plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, we're, yep. I wish I were as good as the guitarist. Oh, you're doing just fine. Oh, yeah. great. But no, Jack Harris is, is a monster. <laughs> so how, how do you guys like playing shows at St. Olaf? What, what, what's the vibe? How do you take it? Um, it's, I don't know, I, I really, I think they're fun, you know? Yeah. I, I have a good time during all of them. Yeah, I think the cow last night was especially fun. Yeah, it's hard not to have a good time when you're out there. Um, it's all, it's all good. It's hard to tune and talk at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, the, show, the music scene has really picked up, I think, in this semester, too. Yeah, yeah. It seems like once people settle in and everything starts thawing out a little bit, people's musical capabilities tend to thaw out a little bit, too. That's a beautiful way to put it. <laughs> really true. The springtime is a good time around here. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It's getting nice. Yeah, that would be really fun. Yeah, well, uh, you have another song that you like to play for us? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, yeah, I can finish it. Which one are we doing
<laughs> Temporarily. 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 Not taken. There's nothing like the kit. So. Yeah, that's, that's right. Um, so, yeah, but that's us. And Eli's with Eli's Jr., but yeah, we're all first years. So. Nice. Yeah, yeah. so uh, what was the name of that last song that you played? That was Fug Bug. That's F U G space B U G. Is that online? Is, is no. Okay. no. Okay. We're hoping to record soon, though, uh, at some point, man. That would be awesome. Yeah. Maybe get a single going. Yeah. So you've been playing a few shows around campus, if that's correct. You were on Northfield and then, uh, yeah. around here. Yeah, what? we played, um, last night we played at the Contento Cow, which was probably, I, mean, I don't know, I, had, I think I had the most fun so far at that one. Yeah, that was but then, probably the best show. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's nice to get off campus and yeah, play a game was. where uh, there are less constraints, so mm. to speak. Yeah. It felt way more real, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not that, I mean, like, not that the on-campus gigs weren't, you know, really good. The dinner party balcony showcase mm -hmm. was really fun too. That was yeah. a green room, so yeah. that was awesome. And then uh, let's see, we played at the French House. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that was, was our that was our first one. I think I think they all went you know pretty well. We played more or less the same set every time. So yeah. Yeah. nice. Do you think you have like a favorite venue in Northfield? Or one out of the three that you. What's the <laughs> <laughs> well, it's I don't know. I'd say the cow. The I cow. So yeah. far, I you know. Definitely, definitely the cow. Oh what? Four eleven's gonna be crazy. Stay tuned, listeners. We might have a show coming up. Not gonna say it's yours. No, no beans being spilled. No, but also the pause is really fun to play. You know, the text is really good, and the lights are cool. It's a cool. It's a cool looking. That was awesome. Very cool. And if I'm correct, you have an EP already. Is that right? No. Um, wrong. Wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> we don't. I mean, we well, have, have some music on SoundCloud. Do you have a oh, yeah. some kind of release? Um, I, I a lot of these songs I would just like record um, and then like release as demos on SoundCloud. Oh, okay, uh, so you have some demo. Okay, we well, got some. Well, that's something. You got some demos. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not. I for the most part we uh, we didn't play all the instruments. Like I would go home to Chicago, and uh, my friend Charlie Libby Watt, word to Charlie, um, <laughs> who's that guy? Uh, but he would he would record he would play drums on the songs and then I would do like guitar bass and keys, okay. um, and then the vocals once I got back here. Um, but yeah, so that's just demos so that like I could have like a scratch, you know. And then we're hoping to record like what we thought sound instruments soon. Nice. But you so did you start writing music in Chicago? Yeah, I did. Um, with with corn on my dinner plate was where I first started like, okay. releasing my music. So. so how did how did you start? How did it start for you? Um. So I was uh, I was like a sophomore in high school when I met. Uh, Jeremy and Jack, who are, Jeremy's the drummer in Corner My Dinner Plate, and Jack is the lead guitar player, and they're both really amazing musicians. And then Nico is a longtime good friend of mine. He sings uh, the, the vocals. He also sings vocals in Corn. And uh, Rome Quinn is another friend of Nico's who he invited to play bass with us. So, yeah, we started that like sophomore year of high school and then released a four track EP when we were seniors. And then over winter break, we recorded six new tracks and then just released them like last week. They're all on Spotify. Oh, that's cool. So, how does it feel like juggling these like two music scenes, like Corn My Dinner Plate? And um, here? it's pretty. It's pretty cool. I don't know. It's because it's like, they're, they're. It's like two different bands, you know. And it's it's like super fun to switch between them, you know. It's different, like different sounds, but like they're both really good in my opinion. So. Yeah, that is cool. I think a lot of times people might think it might be difficult to switch between, you know, being in two bands. But I find it personally, it sounds like you do as well to be pretty sort of thrilling and an yeah. interesting change of pace when you can play with different people yeah. with a different sound. 
Yeah, and especially like when you know we're all here together and like they're all spread out, and so it's kind of like when I'm here, you know, and then when I'm there, I have I can have two two different I don't know bands, but yeah, I don't, this has been one. I'm really really stoked to play, man. That's really cool. I'd like, like to ask know. where so where did the title come from? <laughs> the name. The name. Devin, you I think you have something to say. Wait a minute, uh, <laughs> give me the story. Man. <laughs> Set up to the mic, Devin. Okay, I'll do. <laughs> All right. So one one time we were in a good old KD, uh, Kate killed off, and um, <laughs> and we were up on the second floor lab, uh, and Devin was just like, yo, wait, wait, wait. and I was like, oh, that's that could be the banner. Wow. That was pretty much it. We didn't give him much thought. We don't. Sorry. I don't know. We don't. Probably a lot some of more thought. context that could be added, but. Yeah, very, very <laughs> <laughs> we were just there. I don't. I don't even know. Like, I don't remember. I don't remember either how that came to well, be. No, no ointment in the studio. We want to keep uh, okay. everything right. nice and. That's fine. We can get an ointment grease. Clear. No grease in the You're studio. Okay. We'll, we'll let you. Uh, we'll grease once we get outside. Post grease. <laughs> cool. We want to want to play a song first in the studio. Yeah. No. Uh, please stop it. Yeah. You want to stop? Please. Please. Uh, I think we should start with the beat just because the, the tempo. Is
tentatively. <laughs> I don't know. We always we always, it goes. We always slap a name that. on our voice memo, and then it just yeah, never yeah, changes. Yeah. Oh, that's how it always happens. That explains Fug Bug. Yeah, I, I think that uh, it, it's it's hard naming songs because so hard. because it's inevitable that this like general meaning is going to be applied to it by whatever you call it, and so it's it's really the hardest part because it's you know, it takes on a completely different. Meaning initially face value, yeah. depending on how you name it. But yeah, yeah, that's I'm really bug bug that. stop it. Uh, you know, it's pretty ambiguous. So <laughs> I, I think you're good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think that's what we go for. Is like, yeah. like sh shoot, we don't know what to call it. Yeah, just let someone else just try and decide or bug it. Can't let it be known. Yeah. <laughs> let it be known. Let's see if we can um. <laughs> Well, you're not hiding your emotion over there. I see you. I see you getting down. <laughs> it's not my Devin's face. Right. Like Devin's face is always so. He's always so into it. Yeah, he always looks concerned. Concerned, but like satisfied. <laughs> I'm just worried all the time. <laughs> satisfied. <laughs> should, we, uh, should we go ahead and take another one? Or? Take it away. Okay. Uh, well, live in the studio. We appointment appointments. Cool. Uh, Who's this? Are, 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 are we booking up? Yeah. I mean, mm. Are we booking it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's just let's just let's just book it. <laughs> This one, this song is called Wait, Book. Wait, can't do it right away. Sorry. Right. Sound called Book. What? Sound called Book. What? Sound
of whether you should or shouldn't but yeah. how do you how do you is it easy uh balancing both of those things for all of you i mean i know it's only your first year but if you live in kildall maybe you're in great con right so you've got a lot of reading to do is that is it, are, are you any of y'all in great con I, I actually am yeah <laughs> no, that's right we've talked about <laughs> oh, yeah. this yeah um no i definitely put more time i think to music than uh than than i should when it well, comes, like when i'm managing should. it you know who knows what that is but yeah but um yeah, it is kind of, sometimes it's a distraction, but also, I, you know, I also see it as like a, a good, you know, it's a good thing too. I, I, I get my work done, so yeah. maybe so not. It's a lot of late night rehearsing. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah where do y'all rehearse? In a <laughs> drum closet. A tiny H-O-M. little drum Because <laughs> the only nice drum sets, I tell you, are in H- yeah. H-O-M, or so Very we've cool. discovered. So, so we just go in there and... Does Elijah have access to that? Is that yeah. how you guys all have access? So you just schlep all your stuff in there and yep, set up? Yep, exactly. How big is it? Smaller than, than smaller than this. Smaller than this room, yeah. Oh, Way smaller. Very just like, no, no, not this. So, I mean, like, this is like a sizable, like, a sizable room, you know, mm-hmm. if this desk was in here. But, like, is it, yeah, so it's it's smaller than this. Yeah. But, yeah, it's 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 comfy. Cool. We get cozy with each other. Yeah, hot. It's a big chemistry. <laughs> it gets really hot in there. Yeah. Chemistry yeah. is what you want. The ointments get flowing. <laughs> well, we got about a... Uh, we got we got some time. Do you have any more songs? That you come on down. Come on down. Always sounds weird with the drum track. We, we could do play without. without one. Yeah. We could also do like Gator Chomp or. Right. We should do Gator Chomp. Gator Chomp works better with the drum track. Gator Chomp. Gator Chomp. Chomp. <laughs> <laughs> All the way. Do you think that's oh, no Gators in the studio? Weber, where are you? No, we have two of us. Weber. Weber, if you're listening. Weber, who's Weber? So Weber Anderson. Um, sax. Yeah, sax yeah, he was player. playing sax with. He, he came into our rehearsal and was playing sax with us, and it sounded really good. And we invited him to play the cow, but he was busy uh, with the march thing. Hundred march, hundred. What is it? March second. Yeah, March. Yeah, sure he was uh, having a great time. Yeah. With that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we asked him if he wanted to play. Uh, he's working right now, but he said he's done at five thirty. Get the saxophone here. If he yeah. comes in here with the saxophone. That'd be amazing. Um, yeah. Or we could play, I don't know, some other song. Yeah, we could do it without drums on it. Do like a pad. <laughs> like a practice pad? Oh, what? I should have I actually do have that now. It's kind of loud in them. No? no. no? I don't just say it and then not make it back. Okay. Okay. That's Yo, Taz? No. <laughs> Stop. Uh, okay, so come on down. Thank you. 
to go around. <laughs> Here at, at Kesto, we wholeheartedly believe in the, the sacred healing power of negative ions. Of Definitely, 100%. Feel free to lick it if you want. Proven it's very <laughs> scientific. <laughs> My tongue cut in now. Last, <laughs> last, last, sh last week's guest licked it. It is you tradition. You don't have to. It is tradition. I'll lick it when no one's looking. looking. It is tradition that everyone who comes in salt lamp sessions licks the salt lamp. Okay, well, it's not <laughs> really the tradition. <laughs> it's all of us that's the tradition. You don't do it at all. You don't, you don't have to do it at all. You don't have to do it at all. Emily Toyota did do it think, in the studio. I think that's against the hazing yeah. policy at St. Well, we're not going to make you do anything you don't want to do. That's hazing. I'm not going to stand for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to stand for that. Well, that was, uh, was that Gator Chomp? Oh, no. no. That was no. Come On Down. That was well, Come On Down. down. Gator really Chomp is that one too. I'm mixing up my songs. I really like these songs. Thank you. These are great. It's really easy listening. Yeah. Kind of all around the same tempo, <laughs> and and yeah, but yeah, I mean that's like that's that's a style though, that's a sound. There's there's nothing wrong with that. It's consistent. What what would you say are some of y'all's biggest uh, musical influences? Um, for me, I'd probably say like Mac and Marco. Yeah. <laughs> I know you were thinking it. I know you were thinking it. I uh, heard that. Yeah. Well, it's in the chorus and the guitar. Yeah, the chorus and the, the guitar, definitely. And, you know, the synthy keys. With, yeah. But also like you know people like um like Conan Moccasin. Um, who's like an Australian, he's like Australian Mac DeMarco is what I don't know, people have referred to him as. And he's like, I don't know, his music is weird, but it's, it's cool, it's similar. Um, and then, you know, the Beatles a lot too, just the, the yeah. pop music and the two part vocals, um, that kind of thing. So that's me. <coughs> Do you have a, a guitarist that you uh, are particularly fond of? Maybe, uh, um. We can hear you if you just wait. Oh, you can. Speak, yeah. You can hear me right now. Okay. Well, I, I love Eric Clapton, hey. uh, but I don't. I don't know that that necessarily reflects my style. I just. I don't know. I, honestly, I've never really played lead guitar before, so I'm just kind of finding my way. Nice. Sure. 
interesting, so pretty cool. Yep. Um, so are these all songs that you've written in the past several months, then I take it? Or are some of them very old, some of them really, really new? Well, Brandon, you wrote. Yeah. Um, the first one we played, Garcia, I wrote that one. Yeah. Um, I think most of the songs we, or not most, I th I'd say like about half the songs we wrote together and half we write calling us back. So. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, I think we both write songs, you know, independently yeah. too. Like, we're, like Brandon has like a couple of progressions that you're yeah. flushing out right now. And like, um, I don't know. I just sometimes it's just like, um, well, so all these songs, yeah, have pretty much been from the since the beginning of the first semester. Um, and like, I think we, we wrote a lot of them together yeah. too, and like worked on them a lot together. But like, I'll come to like Brandon with a progression or vice versa, and then we'll just both like suggest things for it and like try to sing melodies to it yeah. and add parts to it and it yeah I think it comes pretty good. I mean I think it works well yeah. it's yeah. cool it's nice to have a little collaboration oh yeah yeah I think it sells writing and it helps a lot yeah. um, well we got time for maybe one more I, I figure you guys might be running out of songs at this point or maybe got choppers we got we're we got chompers. 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 game chompers we got more songs um, yeah yeah <laughs> I mean, I think Gatorchamp would work on what the, uh... It wouldn't work on Paul Paul, it wouldn't work on Stop it. It has to stop it. I don't want to watch it. Stop it.
or maybe you do, but there's no guarantee that it'll actually that's happen. More well, yeah, so that's more yeah. but hey, that's classic. More, keep your eyes peeled for a potential March 9th show. If that's all. The, uh, if you've heard of the spring that's concert. Coming. Spring concert. Oh man, yeah, spring we're hoping concert. we're hoping to get get that opening slot. Uh, depending on who it is, I it, it, I don't know. I've heard some very compelling rumors. I don't believe we're allowed to say some very scary rumors. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I don't even know. Like, I don't know anything, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, um, me neither. Oh, what? so it sounds oh, like you do. Yeah. With that uh, little, <laughs> you raise your eyebrows. The way you said that makes Are me you, feel. Oh like, man. Uh, um, can we just know if it's. I don't I have no idea what yeah. a spring concert is. I heard it's Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing his farewell tour. Rolling Stones. Um, <laughs> you, know, you, 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 really, you, you walked off the stage the other day. What? Is, his off? Fans were is he okay? Around. He just walked off the stage. He just he didn't oh like the fans. I, I didn't like the fans. I didn't read the article. He's at Carlton. There's five million people that showed at my um, concert. I don't like them. No, yeah. Uh, but you were hoping to for, to maybe open for whoever's playing. I mean, haven't played on the main stage ever. Would love to. Yeah, um, that'd be awesome fun. Also, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm cool. not gonna say anything else about uh, what I think. Do you have any hopes for who you would like to see for spring concert? Um, Thundercat. We got we got Thundercat. But that would be a little scary because he plays bass. He's a, he's a monster bass player. on he's a bass. bass player. I've seen him live with Flying Lotus. Oh yeah. Oh. That's awesome. Oh man. Yeah, I saw his trio opening for Flying Lotus, and they were just killer. Yeah, they're super good. That, that drummer too. I don't. I don't know, know if it's the same drummer that I. Have um, a six-string bass. <laughs> so. yeah, he's got a six-string yeah. I think sometimes he also tours with another bassist. If I'm correct. That's. I've seen some really shows. Definitely that possible. Is more yeah, so it's double there. double bass, <laughs> which, is, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's yeah, that's awesome. awesome. But I mean, um, I mean, like, I know, I know, like, home, didn't Home Shake play at Carlton last year? Someone told me that. Yeah. Maybe we could open I would love that. That would be Home Shake. I'm a huge fan of Home Shake. Yeah, I think I. I saw that. Oh no, I saw a car seat headrest. <laughs> really? That's yeah. also really cool. Weird. Yeah. They get a really cool uh, artist yeah. to come play. Um, also, <laughs> also saw T Pain at Carlton. What? Oh my God. <laughs> and I was, there, when I was a freshman. Yep. Freshman year. My brother saw <laughs> Smash Mouth at Carlton. <laughs> wow. Smash Mouth. Yeah. That's awesome. That's wow. It's very Crazy. nostalgic. Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe Saves for Gemini again. That would be cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. What's wrong with a twofer? <laughs> Did you go to that? Oh, no. Okay, uh, then. then <laughs> well, uh, thanks for so much for coming on, Yo, you guys. guys. I hope you had a good time. We did too. This uh, has awesome. <laughs> been the uh, second edition of Salt Lamb Sessions on KSTO, St. Olaf College Radio. Appointment, appointment. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And we're out. We're out here. We'll see you again soon. Is anybody out there? Hooray! Yeah, thank you guys. We're out here, baby.